Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you how to change out the default ESX loading screen. So we're going to show you how to go from a loading screen that looks like this to a loading screen that looks like this. So this is something that is currently running on my web browser, but we're going to show you how to implement this simple loading screen and the download for it will be linked down below. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quit out of 5M here. So now what we need to go and do is we need to turn off our 5M servers. So simply pull up your dashboard and then stop the server. And it will say killed over here, meaning the server is offline. Now we're going to go back over here to GitHub and we're going to download this loading screen. The one that I showcased at the start. I'm going to click on releases and then you're going to click on loading screen dot zip and that's going to download it. So now we need to open it. You'll see it's here. We can minimize out of that and we can go back into our 5M folder or go into our 5M folder rather. From there you want to go into TX data, ESX legacy resources, and then core. In here, you'll see a script called ESX underscore loading screen. Just simply delete that. That's not needed. We do not need that anymore. Now simply go back to resources, create a new folder. We will call this folder scripts. And inside of the scripts folder, we will place our loading screen. As you can see here, we have the loading screen. We can close out of our downloads. And then we simply just want to drag and drop it in. And from there, we want to go inside of that folder, inside of the UI folder, and into index.html. We want to open this with choose another app. Notepad. And inside of Notepad, we will change the server name to whatever your server name is called. In this case, 5M Tutorial Server. Control S to save it. Can close out of that now. We are done modifying our script. So now what we want to do is we want to go back to our 5M dashboard or in TX admin dashboard as it's referred to. And then what you want to do is you want to head over to your CFG editor. I already have mine pulled up and I already have mine open. Under the additional resources section, we want to hit enter underneath the PMA voice and ensure our folder. So ensure open bracket scripts close brackets exactly how I showed earlier then we want to save our 5m CFG file go back over to our dashboard and click start there are more interesting and complicated 5m loading screens out there if you would like me to make a tutorial on how to create a not so much create but how to use one of those other resources out there feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section down below or if you'd even like to see me dive into how to develop your own loading screen script for 5m drop a comment down in the description in the description in the comments below but now let's see 
Did our loading screen start? That is crucial. We need to make sure that our loading screen is here. So let's just go ahead and connect. And as you can see, the 5M tutorial server is here. It'll load us into game, allowing us to select our character. As you can see here, we have our character we can select and we can play and we are in the city that we know and love. Comment down below what other tutorials you would like to see from me and let me know if you'd like to see how to actually develop a loading screen script or how to develop things in general. Be sure to let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope to see you back here for another video. Good bye.